Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be taking you through Hunger in the Dark to show you the locations of all three tomes and both crims. I've got a written guide in the description below. So, right here near the very start of the map where you have to do your first drop down to find the original minecart, go back a little bit, take a nice right down into this slightly drowned area and you'll find your first tome. Beware of rats, they like to spawn up. Now, after you started pushing the cart and you filled it up with explosives, you're supposed to grab another barrel, as I have in this sped up clip, as the fourth and final barrel you didn't put in your cart. Now, bringing this barrel forward until the end of this next area, whereas if I were to continue down this hallway, I would end up at the minecart again, you can go up here and occasionally another barrel will spawn right here in the corner. This barrel is not always here. The intent is that you were to bring the fourth barrel from the cart. Now, as you bring the barrels over here, they will glow, showing you can place them in. At the time of this video, only the host can place them. When you throw either barrel, it becomes a blue barrel, leading me to believe again that you are supposed to bring this barrel. So if the other one gets deleted in a future patch, we know why. Once that barrel is blown, it'll open up a secret back room that you can run in, go upstairs, and you'll find your first Grim just laying on the side. Now your second tome is right here, where you have to push the cart up the wraparound wood bridge you will find it underneath the platform. Your next grimoire is right after you've lost track of the cart. It's gone down those tracks and disappeared from sight. You'll go into the first cave area here. Take a quick right up to what looks like an empty spawn. Turns out it's the hidden room for the Grim. So we'll run up here. Now you can jump out and go around or you can go up on those rocks right there that I stopped to look at for a second on the right. Uh, they're really easy to jump up. You don't have to throw yourself into open air like I did you're in no danger of falling if you go over those rocks. Now, right here, as soon as you jump across, there'll be a little cave on the side with your second grimoire inside. Your final tome is in the very next drop-down area from there. You'll go in, walk across the open cavern until you encounter a little stalagmite or stalactite. I don't know which is which, and I'm honestly not going to Google them right now. Sorry. But you'll come to this little platform right before you leave the area. I like to jump up on these guys. Right up on here, you're on the platform. Jump right across, and the final tome is here. I hope that video helped you out. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving the channel a sub. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!